Well, Brian, the patch palliative care program allows kids with serious medical complications to receive their care right in the comfort of their own home, among other things. Now, that program was run through Beaumont Health in conjunction with another health care network based out of Ohio. But that second company has since removed itself from the picture and tonight isn't saying much. She has a genetic disorder and that causes multiple um, medical and special needs. Before the Pirtle family was introduced to the patch program last year through Beaumont Health and Alternate Solutions mm -hmm. Health Network mm -hmm. out of Ohio, they spent hours in ERs whenever a complication arose with their three-year-old daughter, Luciana. So when mom Marisa heard ASHN would no longer be involved in the program, she panicked. I reached out to our team first, our nurse and all that, and they basically said, we, we know nothing. We, I don't have anything to tell you. We don't know what is going to happen. Not only does Patch allow Luciana to get treatment and therapy at home, it provides a social worker to help with insurance claims and gives necessary equipment that would cost thousands. If the program ended... We would be lost. We would go back to rushing to the ER for every little thing. A spokesperson for Beaumont Health released the following statement. Quote, we are committed to our patients and families, and the patch program is not being shut down. We are also working with others to address the statewide need for these kinds of services. We spent less than one day in the hospital, really because of the patch program. We've got nurses coming to check on him, and they, they really know him. Ray Scudeller's son, Tommy, is also in the program. Both he and the Pirtles say they've gotten little communication from either health network, explaining what this change is going to mean for them and the 28 other families enrolled in the program. It's frustrating um, just to not be able to talk to somebody. Because you're afraid that this thing you rely upon so much that, believe me, everybody is really thankful for, um, is going to go away. Again, Beaumont Health saying the program is not being shut down, but still a lot of unanswered questions tonight. We should mention we did reach out to Alternate Solutions Health in Kettering, Ohio. We've received uh, no direct responses to our many questions tonight, only that the program is moving back to Beaumont. But with 30 families enrolled in this program, obviously a lot of people eager to get answers. We'll stay on top of this and keep you posted as we learn more live tonight in Royal Oak. Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.